हेलो एवरी वन आई एम चेतन देवकर आई एम हेयर टू गिव द प्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ रोप ड्रम कंस्ट्रक्शन एंड डिजाइन अंडर द गाइडेंस ऑफ बोराटी सर सो लेट्स स्टार्ट द प्रेजेंटेशन इन इंट्रोडक्शन इन इंट्रोडक्शन पार्ट्स वी आर गोइंग टू सी द व्हाट इज द मेन यूज ऑफ द ड्रम so drums are basically used in lifts cranes means the use of drums according to its dimension means the dimension dimension are changed then the its use also changes so after seeing this uses in our mind we have some idea about the drums so the figure of drum is like that see this is the figure of drum in this figure you can see the grooves and the cylinder on which grooves are made so the actual definition of rope drum is the a cylinder drum with the grooves are provided for winding the rope that means the grooves are provided that means the use of the these grooves to winding the rope so on these grooves the rope is wounded in construction means we have to construct so we need the dimension so let's see the dimension parts here here is the dimensions of drum uh, there are lots of dimension d for diameter of rope uh, there then another capital d is diameter of rope drum then z is number of grooves on drum there are lots of direction that's mean for the construction of any object we require dimension dimensions gives the nu- uh, numerical nature or numerical value that's by the dimension we can actually imagine the size or shape of the that figure or that object and here is the drum so these are the importance of dimension so dimension are very very important there are lots of dimension that means the everyone has its own importance so we can't neglect any one of these there are p is the depth of groove on rope drum l is the distance between the grooves of two pull rope pulleys l is the length of rope these are the dimension factors in next slides the design of rope drum we are going to des- going to see the design of rope drum actually in design the, the in figure f is total load acting on the rope and d is the torque acting on the rope load uh, when we are going to study design then we have to keep mind in some we have to keep something in mind means traces and safety factor of safety these two things are most important regarding to design of any object so for the design of rope we have to see firstly traces induced in the rope drum so actually there are three traces which induced in the rope drum first is bending trace second is crushing trace and third is torsional shear trace these three traces so there is formula for these traces bending traces crushing traces and torsional traces uh, in every mechanical object there is a some failure criteria so to avoid this failure criteria we have to use factor of safety factor of safety gives the uh, gives the value of shear stress which can we apply so the the value of uh, alloy applied shear uh, value of applied stress should not be greater than the maximum value of the stress maximum value of the object stress so this is the use of importance of the factor of safety that means the factor of safety gives us a idea that after that certain condition the material will fail so to avoid this failure we have to use factor of safety so these th- these conditions are we have to c- take consideration for designing of the structure and for the design of the drum so that's the whole scenario so Thank you guys.